Hi lovelies, I'm Arielle and this is Maven Unmasked and welcome to my 2019 fall faves video. Um, I've got candles and crystals and cards and incense and herbs and books and cats who I'm sure will be making an appearance or you'll hear them jingling at some point in this video. So let's just go ahead and get right to it. So first, um, let's start with candles and smell good things and herbs. Um, I'm pretty basic. I am an Ugg Boots and pumpkin spice latte girl. I'm an October baby, so that is my excuse. <laughs> it is inherent in my nature um, by way of birth. Um, so I do have two Bath and Body Works candles here. One is caramel pumpkin swirl and the other is pumpkin banana muffin. Um, I think I got these last year and I just got some extras. This one I didn't finish burning all the way down, but oh, they just smell so good. The pumpkin banana muffin. I love banana bread. I love pumpkin. And it just really gets that scent into your home, into your energy, preparing for fall. I haven't lit this one yet. It smells so good. It's like just pumpkin pie. I think they also make like a pecan waffle one which I really, really love. I didn't get the big one of that. Um, the last time I saw it, I just got like a teeny mini one. Um, and I wish I had gotten the bigger one because it smells so stinking good, you guys. I don't know about using it if you're trying to like cut back on eating sweets and pies and desserts and pumpkin pie ice cream. Oh my gosh, the Amish market by where I live, they make this delicious pumpkin pie crust ice cream. That is so good. So if you're on a weight loss journey, you're trying not to eat sweets, don't light these <laughs> smell good yummy dessert like candles because it may not end out, uh, turn out so well for you. Um, another candle I got here is this Blockbuster candle. If you're into that, you can get it from your local Botanica or I'm sure you can get it online, but about busting through roadblocks, anything you perceive that is holding you back or keeping you stuck. Um, I feel like this fall, I'm just really focusing on like moving forward and moving through my own like mental blocks um, or self doubts or just anything that's kind of standing in the way. So this is kind of breaking through those barriers. Um, I also have my Breaks All Incense to kind of help with that as well. So I've got my, my Rompe Bloque candle and my Breaks All Incense to kind of bust down, you know, those doors, bust open those doors, tear down those walls. And then I've got my Open Road or Abre Caminos um, Incense to use to help open the roads, it's just that, clear the path. So I bust down those doors and I'm really focusing on clearing away for myself right now. So that's the energy um, I'm really carrying this fall or would like to carry this fall. Um, I've also, I've come to realize that I like um, working with um, doing more root work or doing more herbal magic um, in the fall and the winter um, than I do like in maybe early spring, but in the summer I'm just not that into it. But I'm excited to, uh, this is just one box I have of all my herbs in here in mason jars ready to go for me. So I've got some hibiscus flowers here. I've got some bayberry root. I've got some mandrake root here, clove, sage, star anise, cinnamon, milk thistle, um, bone set, okay, frankincense tears, <laughs> myrrh, um, you know, I really, it's about time for me to start making my psychic teas again. Um, I haven't made them for myself. I just really make them for myself. Um, I haven't done it in like a year or so, maybe a year or more. Um, so I really want to start getting back to that this fall as well. It's basically some dandelion root, some star anise, um, some mugwort. Please be careful with mugwort. You shouldn't um, ingest that for more than three weeks at a time. And when it comes to any herb work, you know, please you know, be aware of the properties and side effects and all that kind of stuff because we want to keep you guys happy and healthy. Um, I use some cinnamon and some nutmeg in there as well. If you do any workings and you kind of want to speed up your working, use cinnamon and nutmeg. Um, but cinnamon is great for 
psychic development as is star anise as is dandelion root as is mugwort now mind you it's a very earthy tea um it doesn't taste <laughs> the best um but you get used to it i've been drinking it for years so it's kind of just like oh it's my my spiritual tea um you can certainly put like peppermint leaves in it or lavender in it um i take it before bed if that's something you want to give a try um with all that being said and all this herbal work I also have my encyclopedia of herbs here. Um, so if you want to learn more about herbs um, or start your own kind of journey with them, it's just, you know, short, simple, and sweet. There's so much more to them than that, but I definitely think this is a good place to start or just a quick um, reference book. So maybe let's just flip to any page in the book and an herb we all can use, okay? Okay, what is this? I stopped on ground cell, so I've never used that. Um, hmm. Yes, hello. Hi, you guys. <laughs> Sorry, kitty cat's playing around. Um, its gender is feminine. The, its planet is Venus. It's associated with the element of water, and its powers are for health and healing. Magical uses. Ground cell is carried as an amulet against toothache, as well as to stop the pain. If it starts, it is also carried to keep the teeth in good health generally. So maybe this is more of a message for me because I really want to um, amp up my oral hygiene. So, but very cool. You know, um, great little reference book here. Alrighty, what else? Crystals. <laughs> Let's talk about some crystals and stones. Um, oh, I forgot to take out my Herkimer diamond. Um, I haven't worked with Herkimer in a long time, but I feel called to kind of pull that back out this fall and develop that relationship and that connection to it again. I've also got some smoky quartz here. Um, I love to sleep with smoky quartz under my pillow. Um, all of these, all of these stones I have here in crystals are darker in nature. You know, it's that energy of fall. I've got some merlinite here or some gabbro. I've got some bloodstone for me again. I'm really focusing on my health and my wellness, my bones, my blood, my joints, all of that. I've got some Labrador right here as well. And you all know I love Moonstone. And to me, Labradorite is such a sister um, to Moonstone. I also didn't get out my Black Moonstone um, to show you guys, but Black Moonstone as well. I plan to work with that this fall. But um, Labradorite, great for tapping into your own, the magic that you hold within yourself. It's got this beautiful shimmer. I don't know if you guys can see it. Well, maybe not. Um, but this beautiful iridescence in it. So I think Labradorite is a great stone to use this time of year as well. I've got some spiderweb jasper. And when I was really thinking about what I wanted to work with this fall, this definitely stood out to me. Um, spiderweb jasper is great for anxiety. It's great, you know, for grounding. A lot of these stones are great for grounding. What are you doing, buddy? What are, what are you playing with? Oh, he's playing with my clearing spray, my sage cedar and sweetgrass clearing spray. Were you, were you enjoying that? Are you gonna, please don't jump on the table. I love you. I have so much stuff on here. Please don't. Oh, you're, you're gonna, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, he probably will. If you hear a loud crash, that's from, come here. Come here. Come on. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> um, but is great for helping to alleviate anxiety, is great for grounding, and is great for noticing the interconnectedness of all things. And I really wanna focus on that and how I'm a part of um, you know, the, the universe and the, the whole um, this fall as well. Plus spiderweb jasper, fall, spiderweb, spiders, Halloween, who, you know. Um, I've also got some chrysanthemum stone here. Okay, um, chrysanthemum stone, it really makes me think of friendships and I wanna focus on um, who I'm friends with, who maybe I'm friends with that I shouldn't be, cultivating those relationships, harnessing those relationships, developing and growing and nurturing those relationships. It's also great for luck, okay, for joy, for positivity, happiness, all of that. 
And then um, it wouldn't be fall without me wanting to focus on and work with my intuition more. So I've got some iolite for that. Iolite is probably my favorite stone um, for, you know, besides moonstone, of course, but for developing, um, you know, my clairvoyance, really opening the third eye, working with the third eye, um, enhancing that energy, developing that energy center. Um, bringing harmony and balance and charging that energy center as well. So really great for working with your intuition. So those are just some stones I plan on working with. What stones and crystals and oils and things are you all planning on working with? What herbs are you planning on working with? Leave a comment below and let me know. Um, I am not big on essential oils. I do use some oils here and there, but that's not really, you know, I haven't come around to that yet. They don't call to me like some other things like, yeah, I've made my own, you know, um, aura mists and sprays for different purposes and things. Um, but I mostly like to use herbs in that, um, some essential oils here and there, but I mostly like to use er uh, herbs and crystals in those than essential oils. I'm just not the best essential oil mixer. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, what are you working with? So let's move on to decks, which I know most of you all have been waiting for, like, oh, this is nice, but just get to the deck. So here you go. Thank you for your patience. So the first one I wanna talk about is Oracle of Oddities. So I didn't, I've had this for a little while. I haven't worked with it too much, but I just, I think it's, you know, it's got that spooky little feel. It's very, you know, it just has that fall vibe to me with the skulls and just the simplistic art with little pops of color. You know, I just think it's so beautiful. Okay, so you guys can kind of just get a feel for what it looks like. So that's the first one. So you guys may see that, um, or if you get a reading with me, you may see that. Um, I have also got the Magic and Mediums Oracle as a magical being and a medium myself. I really enjoy this deck. I did do an unboxing and first impressions on it um, for my channel a while ago. That's by Annie L. Reed. It is just so stunning, you guys. It is just so gorgeous. I love it. And I just think it has the perfect energy to work with any time of year, really, but especially in the fall. Okay. So, beautiful, simple, just loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Okay. Alrighty. So that's some cards from that. Um, and I feel like I would just use this more for like quick pulls for myself um, and what I need to be focusing on, what I need to be manifesting, where I should harness my magical energy, etc. Okay, another, this is an oldie but goodie, the zombie tarot. I cannot read tarot in the fall without having this deck um, nearby or in use in some way, shape, or form. I just think it's so fun and I get such great readings from this deck because the, the amount of detail in it, there's so much that your eye can be drawn to in each card to talk about and to get meaning from. So even as I'm pulling from it now, I'm like, gosh, I haven't worked with this since like last year. I really like need to get back on it. I just, ugh. As soon as I hold it, I'm like, yes, I need need to get back to working with this baby like ASAP, like today. Like as soon as this video is finished, we're going to get back to this one. But it's so great. It's fun. It's, it's, there's so, the level of detail, the places you can go in your intuition, you know, and in the back of your creepy little mind with this deck is just phenomenal. So oldie but goodie. I've had this for four years, five years. It's been quite a while. Okay. Another deck, which um, I think a lot of you really like the unboxing and first impressions I did with this, the Santa Muerte Tarot, okay? So yes, I got the limited edition coffin box, which I love, love, love. Um, 
Again, a lot of these I haven't used since like last fall. So I should probably break them out at other times of the year, but I think they're just great decks for shadow work or for introspection. I love the bright colors in this one. I just love the vibe of this. It's so unique. Okay, we're talking about death. We're talking about rebirth. We're talking about going within. We're talking about the shadow. We're talking about the mysteries and the secrets and the things that aren't always so pleasant um, in life. And I just adore this deck. So colorful and just a fun, all around fun deck to work with. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alrighty, so that is the Santa Muerte Tarot. I think that maybe came out like two years ago or something like that. So let's see, what else do I got working here? Um, <laughs> can't talk about fall and Halloween without talking about the Halloween Oracle every single year. Fave, fave, fave. If I go over to any of my friend's house and they have this deck and we're pulling cards for each other, they know that they need to pull this out because it is just, they made it for me. <laughs> um, gorgeous, beautiful. I love working with this deck for manifesting. I love working um, with this deck for just, um, for my own, what is the best way to say this? For my own just workings and my own inner inner self thoughts and reflections and where am I putting my energy and I like to use this um, around my birthday I'm an October baby so I really like to use this for my own personal like birth wheel of the year um, so not the one that's like January through December but from October to October this is the energy surrounding me I just I adore it my spooky heart my Halloween heart loves it and I just think it's gorgeous and it's just it's everything I could have wanted a Halloween deck to be. Thank you so much, Stacey DeMarco. Love, love, love this one. If you don't have it, you must get it. <laughs> End of discussion. <laughs> End of story. Okay. And with the Halloween Oracle, you've got to have the Halloween Tarot here. This guy is really fun. If you, um, you know, read for others or read tarot for people for like Halloween parties and stuff like that, um, this, you know, of course go with whatever deck you're comfortable with. Um, but this is very, you know, I mean, it's fun. It's light. It's easy. People like the images. It's very cartoony. Um, but it's just a fun fall Halloween deck um, to put you in the mood. <laughs> so this has been out for quite a while. So just fun and cute. You know, the, the cups are ghosts. I think pentacles are pumpkins. Imps are wands. And then what else do we have here? Yes, bats are swords. So air. So cute fun, light, um, great for parties, that kind of thing. Okay, can I get this back in the box? Ha ha, I got it back in the box all nice. Great, that never happens. Luca, get down, please. Hey, sir, get down. Thank you. Thank you. No, don't do that. We don't climb the blinds. No. Okay. <laughs> I told you they would make an appearance. You can't see them, but... <laughs> They're certainly around. <laughs> um, the next deck, which I absolutely love for this season, is Divination of the Ancients. If, you know, the fall for me, it's the season of divination. I mean, I do divination all year round, but it's just there's something so magical about learning a new form of divination um, or just doing any kind of divination during the fall months. So it's just got different forms of divination. If you're looking to learn something new, you know, what new form of divination should I be learning this fall or learning this year? You know, and it's, I just love this one. Love, love, love it. What are you doing? No, don't think about it. No, Luca. <laughs> no, no, no. No. <laughs> okay. 
Another fave of mine that I'm sure you guys have seen on the channel a lot or if you've booked a reading with me, I'm more than likely, if I haven't used Everyday Enchantment Tarot, I have used the Everyday Witch Tarot. So excited for the Everyday Witch Oracle to come out. Cannot wait. This deck is by far one of my favorite decks of all time. It is so easy to work with. It gives beautiful readings. I see something new in the cards every single time that I work with it. I It's always accurate. It just, it vibes with me so well. It's beautiful. I love the colors. I love the backs. I'm pretty sure I did an unboxing and first impressions of this one too. Most of these decks um, I have um, had on my channel in some way, shape, or form. But Everyday Witch Tarot is just a go-to, no matter what. No matter what. I can read for anybody, anywhere, anytime with it. It just, just it works really well with me and my intuition. So I will definitely be using this. I use this any time of the year, but I will definitely be using it this fall. If you don't have it, be sure to get it. Be sure to check out the Everyday Witch Oracle as well. Again, I cannot wait for it to come out. Okay. Um, I've got the Raven's Prophecy Tarot here. I haven't worked with this in years. Um, but I do think it's a great deck for fall. I'll probably get it out at some point. It's been a long time since I've worked with it. Several years. But I do think it's beautiful. I mean, look at that. Look at that Nine of Cups. Look at how gorgeous that is. Okay. Just there's so many places you can go with this one. Okay. So that's the Raven's Prophecy Tarot. Um, alrighty. So I've got two more decks to show you guys. And then we are done with the decks. Okay. Alright, there's that one. I have also got the Heal Yourself Reading Cards here. I think, you know, again, for me, fall is about introspection, connecting with the self, looking at shadow aspects, looking at things that you may not want to see. And this, this deck, um, if you want something that's going to be soft, I wouldn't get this one just because this deck will call you out <laughs> and put you in your place. Um, at least it's worked that way for me. So if you want a dose of realism, somebody to keep it real with you, um, I highly suggest this deck. It's gorgeous. I do have an unboxing and first impressions of this on my channel as well. Um, but this will get you straight. This will this will set you straight. Um, beautiful deck. Nice readings. Dose of reality in this one. Okay, and then I've got the Gaian Tarot here. Haven't worked this with this one in a while. I like to work with this um, during the changing of the seasons. So, you know, fall is here, Maybon. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The amount of time and effort that was put into this deck. I know I have an unboxing and first impressions of this as well. Um, by Joanna Powell Colbert. Gorgeous, beautiful readings. Great for, again, any time of year, but I really love to work with it during the change of the seasons and when I'm trying to connect more to the earth and earthly elements, um, which is what I tend to like to do in the spring and in the fall. So, and last one is the Naked Heart Tarot. I used to work with this one quite a bit. So, and I think it's time to break her out again. It's just beautiful. It's just fun. I just, you know, not that I feel any particular fall themes with this. I just feel called to work with it right now. It's just beautiful. And again, like I said, it's been a little while since I've worked with it. It gives beautiful readings. And I think it's just stunning to look at. Just absolutely stunning to look at. And I love animals. So again, in the fall and in the spring, I really come back to nature themes in my practice. And so a lot of decks that you've seen here, I think kind of support that in some way, shape or form. Okay, 
So that is tarot and oracle decks for fall. Tarot cards specifically, um, I want to work with the magician, focus some energy on the magician, on the high priestess, um, on the moon card, and learning to... Um, you know, come to grips with some illusions and delusions and, you know, the way you expect things to be or the way you see things, you know, the way you perceive reality isn't always that. Um, and the emperor as well, just for, you know, to develop some more discipline, I think, um, for me and my, and just my everyday life. Um, but yeah, I think that is it, you guys. Um, thank you for watching this video. What decks are you working with this fall? Um, candles, scents, you know, please don't think it has to be anything magical or witchy woo. I mean, this is just a caramel pumpkin squirrel, squirrel, swirl candle, you know, from Bath and Body Works. I mean, oh God, so good. So good. Um, but that's it for me. Drink all the pumpkin spice lattes you can handle, beautifuls. And I will see you next time. If you'd like to book a reading with me, please be sure to check out my website, www.mavenonmass.com, and click on the book a readings tab. But until next time, lovelies, take care. Love ya. Bye.